Okay, so I ordered a Boker Trapper from DLT Trading, and I just got it a couple days ago, and here it is in front of me. This is the Stag Boker Trapper. You can see the covers are made out of Stag. Uh, it's an interesting looking Stag. It's not real, like, it's kind of more like a polished Stag, I think, because most Stag's really bumpy and everything, um, but it looks really good. I think um, this knife was $60 on DLT trading. I don't know if by the time this video goes up, if they'll still have them or not, but they had a couple of the like jig bone trappers. And I think they were like 50 and 55 or something like that. And then they had this one that was 60. And I think they may have had another one that was like 70, but I'm not sure. Um, the reason why I haven't bought a lot of Boker knives is because of how expensive most of them are. Uh, but when I went over to DLT Trading and I saw these Boker Trappers for what I consider to be a good price, because it's right around the same price as a whole, as a whole lot of uh, case knives, and Boker does seem to be quite a bit better than case most of the time, at least from my limited experience of two knives from the Sologen plant. Um, which is my Boker Barlow and now this knife. Um, this knife's put together really well. The back springs and liners, no real gaps, maybe just a slight gap there. But other than that, not really anything to talk about. The shields on these Sologen factory knives are pinned, uh, unlike Case. Um, the blades on this are C75. Carbon, which of course makes me happy. The clip point blade on a lot of these knives has this like reverse frosted etch thing that I'm not necessarily crazy about, but it's not a like deal breaker thing for me. And you know, on a lot of the knives, it does look good. Um, on my Boker Barlow, it started to patina and it looks kind of weird when it starts to patina, but you know, fresh out of the box, it looks really, it looks really good. Um, but of course, as you use the knife and everything and it gets a patina, it'll change what it looks like. Um, not something I'm going to hold against the knife or anything. Um, the action on this clip point blade is really good. Uh, the only problem and pretty much the only problem with this whole knife, see if I can show it here. Oh, right there. You can kind of see. It does have some blade wrap on the on the uh, back spring, which is a little disappointing, but not the end of the world. Uh, if you want to manage that, you can just kind of close the blade slower and more gently, and it won't do that. Um, but I always forget and end up closing it anyway, so my blade will just have some blade wrap on it. Um, eventually, if you sharpen it enough, that'll go away. I don't know how much I'm going to have to sharpen it for it to go away, but I'm just going to do my little like touch up sharpenings and everything and wait until it goes away on its own pretty much. Um, I haven't carried this knife yet because I've been waiting to do the video on it before I carry it. Um, the secondary blade is of course, you know, your traditional um, spade blade. <clears throat> I think I like this spay blade a little bit more than Case's spay blade, although this one is ground a little uh, weird. It looks like like it's not completely straight. It has a little bit of a like uh, recurve back here. I don't know if that's intentional or just a part of the grinding process that had it end up that way. But either way, I like the spay blade. The action on the spay blade isn't quite as strong as the action on the clip point blade. But that being said, it doesn't have any blade any uh, blade wrap, so that's nice. <clears throat> um, overall, you know, I'm really impressed with this uh, trap, this Boker Trapper from the uh, Sologen factory, and uh, you know, I'll probably continue to order some more Boker knives, some more of the like. Uh, realistically priced ones or um not crazy priced ones i really want one of those boker club knives 
but they're like two hundred dollars. It's like, yeah, I'm not really one wanting to spend that on a poker. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what I'll end up doing. I don't know if I'm gonna worry about the club knife or not. I do think they're cool though. Um, but anyway, this trap is really cool. I like the stag. I think it looks really good the way that they did it. I like that poker is still offering their knives in carbon steel, at least some of their knives. Um, and their build quality seems to be really good. Uh, another thing uh, that happens on a lot of these like two bladed knives like this, especially the ones with the longer blades, the um, clip point does rub against the liner when you open it just because of, of you putting pressure on the blade and it rubs against the line the liner when you go to open it so a couple little scratches out there just from it rubbing against the liner when i go to open the knife just because of how i open it if you wanted to really prevent that i guess you could open the spade blade first and then open this and then close this plate the spade blade without cutting yourself um so I don't know if you're a serious collector, you know all about that with like Stockman knives and everything, opening the blades in specific orders to get them not to rub. Um, I don't really care because the blade's going to get scratched up anyway because I am planning on using this knife and carrying it and all that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just wanted to show off this knife before I start to carry it so that you get to see it in all its glory before it gets all uh, scratched up and gets a patina on it. Uh, but anyway, that's the Boker Trapper in Stag that I got from DLT Trading.